ஹாலிடேஸ்னாலே நம்ம ஜி டி ஹாலிடேஸ் தான் சவுத் இந்தியா நம்பர் ஒன் டிராவல் பிராண்ட் தலை சிறந்த திருமண நகைகளின் பிரத்யேக அணிவகுப்பு ஸ்ரீகுமரன் தங்க மாளிகை மீனாட்சி காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் அட்மிஷன் ஓபன் ஃபார் பி இ பி டெக் பி ஆர்க் எம் இ எம் சி ஏ எம் பி ஏ அண்ட் எம் ஆர்க் ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு கலாட்டா பிளஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ரிவ்யூ எபிசோட் வி கோட் பி டாக்கிங் அபவுட் விக்னேஷ் ராஜா ஸ்போர்ட் தொழில் விச் ஸ்டார்ட் சரத் குமார் அண்ட் அசோக் செல்வன் த ஃபிலிம் இஸ் அ சாலிட் வெல் கிராஃப்டட் சீரியல் கில்லர் த்ரில்லர் வித் இனஃப் பிளஸ் டு ஓவர் கம் இட்ஸ் இஷ்யூஸ் தட்ஸ் அ ஷார்ட் ரிவ்யூ த லாங் ரிவ்யூ follows there may be spoilers so do watch at your own discretion now imagine this two cops are driving around at night one of them is newly married and complains that he is unable to spend time with his wife the other cops laughs at his plight and suggests that she may be having an affair the immediate payoff to this casual comedy scene is the shocking discovery of a body that is the immediate payoff is the drastic change of tone but the real payoff comes much later into the movie when the conversation between the two cops is reflected as actual behavior vignesh rajas portoril which he co-wrote with alfred prakash is filled with nuggets like this at the macro level we are in a fairly typical genre film but let's first talk about the micro touches in this serial killer thriller which uses the classic hollywood trope of the bumbling rookie cop and the grouchy senior slash mentor these characters are named prakash and loganathan and they are played by ashok selvan and sarath kumar i love the micro touch and the payoff involving prakash's reflexes i like the micro touch that both prakash and logan Nathan wear monochrome shirts the inexperienced cop wears lighter colors the senior cop is shown in heavier shades i like logan nathan's addiction to cigarettes which is compared to the serial killer's addiction to killing women i liked how reluctant logan nathan is to give praise there's a very very funny moment after prakash solves something where you can almost feel the torture logan nathan's mouth is undergoing because it just won't open to deliver the words good job Sarath Kumar gets a meaty minimalist role that uses both his performing skills and his big screen presence and he is excellent. I like that Logan Adams passes never explained like the marks on his back. We just know that he has been through a lot and that is enough. But why didn't the director use the same restraint with regard to the background score by Jake Bijoy? There's a silly early scene where Prakash's timid nature is played for comedy and the scene is made sillier by the cartoony music that perhaps fits this single scene but hurts the film's overall atmosphere. Poor Thoril joins the long list of Indian films that makes you wonder if every emotion or action needs to be underlined by a background score that spoon feeds the mood to the audience. Besides, nothing is gained by making Prakash this scaredy cat, this timid guy, because later he performs a daredevil act. He enters the killer suspect's house with a dashing hero's ease. Had he really been timid, his heart at that moment would have burst out of his chest. I do not like how the Nikhila Bimal character was shaped either. Why introduce her as such a high achiever when she has so little to do and we come to the film's problem areas all we want is that the familiar be made fresh with a few twists here a few unexpected details there this is a solid twist in the identity of the killer it involves a nice bit of deception and the timing of this revelation is another surprise for this genre but i would have liked to see more scenes of dogged detective work that result in small bits of information being parceled out to the audience instead we get a big chunk of exposition from logan adan just a half an hour into the movie why not make him and us work and wait for that conclusion all evidence comes via dialogue or is found conveniently all at once in the same location another big chunk of exposition comes from the serial killer and the motive is not terribly new but for such an elegantly made film there's a very clumsy message at the end this message trivializes the complex correlation between one's nature and nurture but watch and all derivative scenes and all portrayal is a very watchable and very stylish film with cinematographer kalai seven shivaji the director unleashes a series of clean minimalist yet dramatic compositions there is no technical showing off and the quiet confident staging elevate several scenes the climax action stretch a small one is especially wonderful production designer indulal kavit also deserves a big shout out apart from the tonally odd stabs at comedy the film gets one important thing totally right and that is to immerse us in a world of darkness very rarely does one get a visionary like mishkin taking a genre and owning it completely the way he did in yuddham sai or pisasu or psycho but well crafted generic narratives like portoril do have their place and they do have their own place Pleasures. That's it about Porto Real. If you like this video, if you do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Holidays Nale, Nama GT Holidays Tha, South India's number one travel brand. Tali Sirindu Thirumana Nagigalin, Prithiya Gani Vagupu, Shri Kumaran Thanga Maligai. Meenakshi College of Engineering. Admissions open for BE, BTEC, BARC, ME, MCA, MBA and MARC.